Hi guys, so I'm just going to show the common issue of the PX and V9. Um, so this steering wheel is cheap, but it's kind of it has some common issues. So that's only downside compared to the Logitech, which we know is pricier. <laughs> so by default, when you turn on or when you um, from a shutdown state of your computer the controller would uh the v px and v9 would uh show as an xbox controller as what you're seeing right now um so of course what you need to do is to press and hold the mode button and you will see this blink and after that the icon um for the px and v9 would be like a, a keyboard that means it's on the right um, it's on the right mode right now. Just make sure that you have the uh, from the website of PXNV9 you have the drivers installed and this is actually what's going to appear when you go to the game controller settings. So as you can see all the, all the buttons are there, all the keys are there and you can see my gas pedal showing with a minor um pressed maybe or, or so um so the problem here is because i switch i i just first thing is you just turned on um the computer or you uh just plugged in the usb cable you just connected it either way what i've noticed is the the calibration either for the gas brake or clutch is gonna be messed up so you just have to recalibrate it manually unfortunately that's the only way and from the from the looks of it uh google reddit all the forms they're thinking it's a defect but uh i don't think it is it's most likely just a common issue of the of the bx and v9 because there's a lot of people complaining and what they're saying is the resolution is just to manually calibrate it so i found a video from uh from youtube i'm just gonna put it on the link um credits to that guy so if ever that you've noticed your gas pedals uh the brake and the clutch not showing correctly or it's like it's broken and you need to clean it nope that's not actually it um, it happens from time to time. I can't really explain as to why and um, But anyway, so let me just show you how to calibrate it manually uh, whether you plug it in the the PXN V9 via the USB cable or From a shutdown and then you just turn it on state that it this usually would happen or it's actually you just have to make sure you're on the PXN V9 mode, which is the, the steering wheel mode rather than the Xbox controller mode. So going back, um, I'm just gonna show it to you. So you can see you have to switch to the to seven degrees mode, and the way as shown on the other video is you press and hold this two buttons here simultaneously the two buttons over here so i'm just gonna do that real quick it's hard to do it without hands so just one second so when you do that you'll see this blink um that's the sign that you could now manually calibrate it so you just move it to the left and you will see it blinking slowly next step move it to the right it's gonna blink slowly again uh, you have to move it to the 980 degree or 900 degrees mode again this time over here and it's gonna blink again just move it on the way left and then once done just move it all the way to the right Oops, I messed up. I pressed the button. Let me just repeat that real quick. Set, left, right. Let's 
switch left switch right so after that after the steering wheel it would be the the pedals now so you just push it all the way down and then for a few seconds let go you will see the blinking uh, go slower so the brake now and then let go then lastly is the clutch and then let go after that just press these options it would stop and now if we go back to the game controller settings you'll see that we actually see that um, the gas pedal the one where it was showing like it was pressed like like that earlier it's gone so now it's working properly so that's the only way to like make it work properly um, unfortunately as, as I mentioned um, it's cheap it's great it's just that it has a downside that uh, when you move it on a different USB port or when you um, shut down and then turn back on your computer you always have to switch to first is the mode you have to make sure you're in the PXN V9 mode rather than the, the controller icon here which this would be the marker next thing is if you notice that it's kind of not calibrated or you can actually just double check it if you're going to use it uh, just make sure that you're going to double check it on the properties and of course you won't be seeing this if you don't have the drivers installed so make sure that's it's all installed before you uh, attempt to do this so I hope that helps and granting that this is the uh, the cheapest steering wheel out there um, it this is the, the downside it has so hope this helps out and next time